Hi, this is Brad Linder with Mobiputing, and I have here Firefox Mobile for Android. It's a web browser from the same people who make the Firefox web browser for the desktop. It's been in beta for a while, and uh, there was a release candidate recently, and now it's gone official. So let's take a quick look at what makes this browser special. Uh, first thing is when you launch it, you'll notice that you've got this start page here that shows you uh, tabs that have been opened previously, tabs from other computers if you synchronize Firefox Mobile with your desktop using Firefox Sync. Um, which I don't right now, so you're not seeing that. And then a uh, possibility for add-ons here. Now you can also swipe to the side and you see a list of open tabs and you can press this button to create a new tab. And then when you do that you can see all pages, recent, uh, which shows recent pages that you've had open, uh, your bookmarks, your history, and uh, if you're synchronized you can show what's available from your desktop. Oops. Let's go back there. Uh, pressing that. So uh, let's take a quick look then at what happens if you want to load up a page. Let's go to mobiputing.com. Probably help if I spelled that right, or just click this way. So you can see it loads pages relatively quickly. It's using the same rendering engine as the desktop version of the browser. And in earlier builds, I noticed that when you scroll to the bottom, you tend to see sort of this checkered area for things that haven't loaded yet. You don't see that very much here anymore. It's more like the Safari web browser on uh, iPhone devices, which also shows that for unloaded page segments, but you don't see it very long because things load pretty quickly and uh, the page appears as it loads. Also, when you zoom in, it takes a second, I don't know how well you can see this, it takes a second for text to resolve uh, when it changes fonts, but it really is a split second at this point. It used to take a long time, it used to be kind of jarring that you would see blurry fonts for a while and then they would resolve. Now, pretty much perfect. And there's a couple of things that actually work better in here than most of the browsers. So for instance, I've got a frame here where I can scroll within the frame. Most other mobile browsers that I've tried do not do that. Uh, when I tried this motion, it actually just sort of swipes up and down the page. Now if you swipe to the other side, you can see that you've got a bookmark menu, forward and back buttons, settings, and from settings you can also access your downloads and add-ons. This is really the thing that made Firefox very popular on desktop browsers and uh, something that uh, sets it apart from not all mobile browsers but most is the ability to install add-ons. Uh, the Dolphin HD Reader also supports add-ons but there are far far more add-ons available for Firefox, uh, even Firefox Mobile already. So for instance we've got, what do we have here? Bigger text, making text uh, fonts larger, add plus block for blocking advertisements, oops I'm not quite sure what just happened there. Uh, Google, Amazon, Wikipedia, and so forth. So add-ons that really help enhance the functionality of the browser and uh, give you different things that you can do with it. Uh, reading list for saving pages to read offline, Twitter bar to update Twitter from your address bar, and so forth. Um, in terms of settings, uh, we've got the About Firefox, you can auto-detect language or set your default language. You can change what your start page is, so if you don't like that uh, page that shows you the uh, recent tabs and so forth, you can change to a different one. You can enable or disable desktop synchronization for saving your passwords and bookmarks and other information. You can allow cookies or not, passwords uh, remembered or not. You can clear your private data right now just by hitting the clear button. You can choose whether or not to reformat uh, text and you can um, choose whether to show images, JavaScript, and so forth. So overall, a uh, pretty nice browser. The one thing that I've noticed though is that it still does not support Adobe Flash. So if you go to a site that requires Flash, and try to open a video you're gonna get the same thing you would get if you didn't have flash on a desktop browser which is a button that says you need to upgrade your flash player to watch this download it from adobe and that's really just not going to do anything. Um, I have Flash Player installed on this device. It works in the Opera web browser, works in Dolphin, works in the default Google Android web browser. does not work with Firefox. So 
overall pretty speedy, uh, has some nice features, supports add-ons, supports desktop synchronization, does not support flash at this point. Um, does support, you know, most sites that do HTML video. Um, and it's interesting that it doesn't recognize that there are HTML uh, players for these um, videos. But if we went to another site, for example, I believe uh, Vimeo.com does support Flash video. And so if we uh, just play a video here for a second. Okay, well, in this case, it's actually downloading the video. Um, I've had a couple of other videos that I've tested, which I probably should have queued up, <laughs> where uh, it'll actually open a video player. So, there you go. That's Firefox Mobile for Google Android. It's also available for the MAMO operating system uh, for Nokia N900. Let's just do another site that... There's a lot of content on it, New York Times. And again, you see it loads pretty quickly here. And pretty much renders the page the way that it would render on a desktop computer. And when you double tap to zoom, it makes sure that the column fits properly as well. Or you can zoom out and show the whole page. So there you go. Again, first look at Firefox Mobile, the final build for Google Android, also available for Memo. This is Brad Linder with Mobile Puting.